Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Metroid 2 Return of Samus on the Game Boy. We have six Metroids left. We have, I guess, max health. Um, all right. And 250 missiles, which is quite a bit. Um, so, we're heading into the final sections here. Um, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. I think I may have figured out... Uh, well, at least, like, my main problem with the, the space jump, the screw attack. Um, because a lot of the time when I'm doing the jump, when I break out of it, I'm in, like, a crouching position. Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought that I was like pressing up or down or something like that, and I was breaking out of it myself by going into a crouch, but no, that's not the case. So, never mind. I guess I just got really lucky then, because I thought I had figured it out, and I went like all the way up an entire vertical shaft in one go. It was like 12 jumps in a row. I was very happy. But I guess that was a fluke, so never mind. All right, so now we're heading down. This is the dark blue section we're in. This contains absolutely nothing of note as far as the map is concerned. Uh, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. You know, I fucked up. I, maybe I can only properly space jump uh, when I'm on when I'm off camera. You'll never see me do good space jumps. Hey, look at that! Why? What I did off camera that was so damn slick. Passed through the dark blue section. So now I think we're in the puke green section. Which is very short. It's one looping hallway and it contains two Metroids. Here we go. Oh, and some lava to boot. Nice. Yeah, it's a joke, Metroid. A joke, I say! Five to go. supposed to be another Metroid here. Huh. There's definitely supposed to be another Metroid in the same room. It's marked on the map. Well, the map 
doesn't say anything special about it, so... And we got the Earthquake. I don't know. We'll keep note of this if something... If we don't have enough kills or something in the, in the future. Oh, shit! Earthquakes aren't supposed to make lava! make lava go away. Well, maybe now it appears. Oop. Don't want to use missiles. Where are you at? Oh, shit. It's a big Z. Oh, you're supposed to shoot it in the ass? I think you're shooting it right, yeah, in like it's hump or something. Humperdink. Okay, that, that's not a winning strategy. It's definitely like it like its legs shake when you hit it in the back. Do these things appear in in later games? All right, well, I killed it. it wasn't easy, but I got it. There's another earthquake. All right. Now it all makes sense. So I guess that was a Type O Metroid. Uh, Omega class. Didn't seem too Omega to me, but... It's just a big Z. Problem is, there's not really any energy stations ahead of me, so I think you just have to rely on farming. Farming Simulator 2019. Okay, we've now passed out of the dark blue again, and we're in the pink section. Pink section is just a long area of uh, regular rooms. Probably filled with enemies. How you like them moves? Try to kill everything we can, because more health the better. Even if it's a little bit. Now, we do, however, get a save point. Which should be coming up in the next room. This works. Oh, no, now it's worse. Oh, oh, that was a good screw attack. Huh, I wonder why... Why is that... Sp why is that there? Save complete. Got a long shaft here. Big long shaft. Yeah. Hey, 
Okay, I'm getting a little concerned. From what I can tell, we have to take out three Omegas with our current resources. And after that, we have to go into the dark red section for a while, and then we finally get a refuel. That's seems problematic. I'm not as healthy as I'd like to be. And also, in game, I'm not as healthy. <laughs> Damn it! Oh no. Don't attempt the space jumps. Just, oh no, just jump. Here we go. These guys are tricky as shit. Well, no, not tricky per se, but you just take a lot of damage in the process. I guess maybe you don't have to hit them in the in the back, but you can't fire up at them. That's that strategy is old and done. I'm really hoping there's something I can just farm. Oh my god. Omega class. Got him. Well, I, maybe we could do one more on our current resources without dying, but that's if I don't fuck up here. That was close. Okay. So I would go back down to the save. But that's a noob mistake, because there's another save over here. Um, down there is the way to dark red. And we want to finish our job here. Duty calls. Okay, so we have... We have enemies. So that's something, but... Can't really farm them too well. <sighs> All right, that's a save. Stock and slaughter them over and over. That is not a quick process. Uh, probably it's fastest to just screw attack into him. There you go. There you go. This is a farming method. God. I mean, missiles I'm not too worried about. I think we have plenty to kill two Metroids, but... Let's take a lot of little damage in these fights. This is a pretty good farming method. There's no risk. It's a tad slow, perhaps, but still, he drops a lot of health every time he does. So, this is our best bet. Look at that. I'm already probably could handle both of them. But, better safe than sorry.
because I don't like to be sorry. Nice. Off camera, I would go to max. Uh, right here, let's just get one more. I mean, I'd love to see someone do this without taking any damage. I'd be very impressed, because he does these, like... He just sort of sticks on you. Oh, there we go. No. Well, you gotta get what you can. Nice. Two to go! Oh my god. It's incredible. Just for the sake of... Saving a lot of time and, and... Better safe than sorry and all that, like I said. Uh, let's go save again. Now, if I was really good at space jump, this would be quick and easy and cool. But, unfortunately, I'm not. certainly have enough health to kill one of them. How hard can one Metroid be? There we go. bad boys down pretty well. Alrighty. Whew. Cool stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, them earthquakes. 
the final Metroid. Time to wipe out this species once and for all. again because I don't want to have to redo any Metroid fights I don't have to and we should be fine because there's no Metroid fights before we get to refuel. It's a very barren section so far. Not sure what to say about that. Seems like it's gonna be just emptiness. There's three down arrows that lead from here to the hallway below us, which leads me to think that there's three spots where the floor gives out or is just transparent and you'll fall to your, your, your doom. I think it's probably in these water sections. If I can space jump over all of them, that would be fantastic. Yep, see? Just like that. That's what would have happened. Aren't you happy that I use a map? Now, I don't think there should be any here, but I'm not taking any chances if I can help it. Apparently my space jump game is strong right now. complete. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. Okay, so what we have here is a giant-ass room. Well, not that big, but it's a big open room. And we want to go Okay, hold on. I'm just I'm looking at the map, sorry. I just wanna do this. Cause we wanna get our refuels and then and then and then we enter the final section. Hey, look at those ass things again. Aha, look at this, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
Now there is a spot here to get an ice beam. I don't know if that's necessary or not. I don't know. What do you? Th should I get it? Debating. I mean, if I was gonna get it, I guess I should have spider balled from the refuel room. As it is, I'd have to make a lot of space jumps. Which off camera I could do. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. That's awesome. Seems really lame, but um, it's here for a reason, right? Okay, so I'm gonna fall down now. All that hard work. Why are these things here? Save. And now we head into the final section. I think it might be like the, the window in which you have to press the button. And if you press it too soon or too late, the jump fails and you don't get a second chance. So there's a window right when you start to fall, and you have to press the button then. That's what I think. But, okay. Uh, I messed up, so let's just spider ball to be safe. It's slower, but oh well. too early. See, I told you if I, uh, if I played enough Metroid, I'd get the hang of it. Okay, now we're entering some very different environments here. Metroids. They're spawning. My god. Oh. Okay, so these are the Metroids we are familiar with. Alright. Well, those I can handle easily enough. And that's why you grab that ice beam. Because that's how you kill a Metroid. Fucker. Got him. All right, five of you bastards left. Metroids ain't shit. Maybe if you evolve into your Omega form. Let's 
go. Oh. Oh, one to go. Oh, the earthquake. Is this going to be the big bad Metroid? The biggest of them all? The Alpha? No, we've killed a lot of Alphas. No, I don't know what this is. We've killed Alphas, we've killed Omegas. What the fuck is this? This isn't on a Metroid! This is like a Godzilla villain. And it's kicking my ass. Okay, I gotta... No, you gotta... Shit, you gotta retreat. Damn, okay, don't rush it. There's, like, no attack windows here. What happens if I go down? Oh, don't go down. Don't, don't go down. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, well, shit. That's really weird, you can leave the boss fight. Um, but, alright. Since we're right next to the refueling station, let's hit up that. And then we go back through the section. I assume the Metroids don't respawn, but even if they do, they're not that bad. I, of course, assume that the the big Angoris or whatever thing it is, I don't know what it is, but I assume it's health reset. Spawn, so we're in the clear here. Alright, so if we're close to death, we can just peace out and easily heal back up. So, I mean, we've got as many tries as we want. Just have to sort of figure out. That's interesting that the retreat at the boss leads you right to the ice beam in case you missed it. To me, that kind of signals that they want you to use the Ice Beam to conquer the boss. So, I think that's going to be our strategy, is to test out the Ice Beam. Maybe that causes his mouth to... That was stupid. It's mouth to open up. making sounds, but I don't know if that means anything. Okay, we're just hemorrhaging health now. It's not making sounds when I do that, so fuck it. Oh, 
God, retreat! No! Fucking hell, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, ice doesn't do jack shit for anybody. Um, it made noises when I was shooting its neck with the missiles. So, that's what I'm going off of. That's what I'm going off of. Man, it really wrecks your health bar. Jesus. That thing is not pleasant. If I had a turbo button is where I'd use it, but I don't think I do. Well, it's definitely not simple. Or, I mean, I guess it is kind of simple. It's not like it has a lot of moves. Um, and it's not like you have a lot of moves. So, I guess my strategy this time is just going to be focus on survival. You know, stay crouched in that corner as much as possible. And fire missiles repeatedly into its head and neck. I don't think the mouth opening matters, because in the first fight, it almost never, ever opened its mouth. Like, you would never get a chance to attack it if that's what you required. At least as far as I understood. When we shot it with the ice beam, it didn't make a sound. When we shot it with the missiles, it made a sound. That's usually your best indicator. So, that's what we're going off of. We were doing damage to it, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, missiles on. Here we go. Round three. Like, I know we're gonna take damage, I, I can't really do much about it. This is really just my best bet. And getting stuck in a pattern like that is god off. Oh my lord! Iframes! Invent them, please! Oh my lord. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, now I have to look it up, because now I'm genuinely just confused. I'm just confused. The Queen Metroid. When she opens her mouth during a long-necked attack, she can be briefly stunned in place with a missile. Hundred and fifty missiles. I guess. I'm just not dodging enough. My strategy was not uh good for surviving i mean i'm definitely doing damage to it but that's an absurd amount of missiles whoa oh there's an alternate method to kill her that's even cooler although it's not like an insta win but i want to see it 
Okay, well... Alright, so from here, now... Uh, I'll make a save state before I jump down there, because I don't want to do this again. There's no need to. Um, and really, yeah, I mean, I'm being dumb, certainly. Uh, <laughs> the screw attack should definitely be used to... Oh, shit. Should definitely be used to kill the thing she shoots out. That was good. Told you I'd get the hang of this. This makes perfect. Damn it. Damn it. It really looks like SCP six eighty two. Like, especially they have, like, some concept artwork on this, on this wiki page. It really looks like it. Bottom line, survive. That's good. And you want to use the missiles when it opens its mouth in order to stun her. The stone cold stunner. So that's, that's the strategy this time. Getting it in the mouth, though, is, uh, is certainly easier said than done. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that seems absurdly difficult, but okay. Oh my god. So, the alternate strategy is to get in the mouth with the morph ball and plant bombs in its stomach. Like a Dodongo. That seems so ridiculous! Um, okay. We're gonna die, but we have the save state. Okay, um... So I'm doing good on the little thing she shoots out. But I'm not doing good when she actually attacks, because I'm trying to shoot her in the mouth, but that doesn't really work. Because if you try to dodge that, I mean, that's your attack window, you know? <laughs> I mean, you're basically in for a very long fight where she has way more health than you ever do. I, don't, I think the bomb in the mouth, that would almost be like a, a rumor. Uh, like getting Mew in uh, Pokemon Red and Blue or something. Or uh, whatever it was with the truck and the thing. and I don't even remember what it was. All the rumors they had for that game. But I'm sure it's possible. It's on the wiki, but it seems insane to actually pull off.
to be honest, I think I'm better off with that crouch strategy as long as I screw attack the the little missile things. These things. And I don't get caught in some pattern. Um, I think I just had far more damage output. Because here I'm not really doing much better. I've shot, what, 90 missiles at this point? Yeah. So that's not good enough. So... Auto screw attack. Because at this rate, I take maybe you know one hit. Hopefully, if I can actually do it properly. But I pump a lot more missiles into her head. Oh, but sometimes, yeah, she just gets those good hits in. Fired 150 missiles, but I did not hit her with 150 missiles. Fucking hell, man. This is... <laughs> this seems way too difficult for a children's Game Boy game. Um... The problem is you can't crouch and shoot up. I just don't know how to avoid touching the head when it fully extends. I mean, other than just copious amounts of screw attacks. But like I said, that's your attack window. This is when I'm supposed to be shooting at her. Because it's not there unless I... Maybe if I keep the screw attack going for when these things come out. And then I immediately shoot her. And then immediately... But that's like you're getting two hits in. You're looking at a half an hour fight. But what's the alternative? The alternative is this, getting repeatedly hit. So it's either offense or defense, and either way, you're screwed. I mean, yeah, shooting her in the mouth and getting her stunned for a second is fine and dandy, but that still doesn't account for 150 missiles. What the fuck were they thinking? Oh my gosh. Alright, I have to look up some better help. Um, <laughs> let's see here. It says, fire two missiles at her, then prepare to dodge. When she attacks with her head, start using a spin attack to deflect those shots. Along with her ball things. After she shoots her balls, fire a missile at her. Repeat this process a lot more times. <laughs> That's great. Until her head snaps become noticeably quicker. Then stand at the lower right corner and when she snaps at you, fire a missile at her without moving. If you hit her with her mouth open, she will freeze. Roll into a ball and then her mouth. She will unfreeze, but you will be in her mouth taking little damage. Roll to the left into her stomach, then lay a bomb. Do this two to three more times and she'll die. Perfect. So basically they're saying combine all the strategies I mentioned. To an extent. You want to focus on defense early on and just get in light hits until... 
until um, she speeds up. And that's when you do the bomb thingy. Okay, problem is I have to screw attack a lot. And uh, screw attack properly. <laughs> you have such a small window to make things happen. Look at that. God, my screw attacks are... Because it... <laughs> like, constant combative screw attacks is, is a tricky strategy. Did it get quicker? I don't think so. Maybe. Aha! Okay, I fucked up. I did not go into her stomach, although that's what should have happened. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, eat shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. Give me props for that one. That was intense. Oh my gosh. One fucking health. That's insane. Oh, baby Metroid. Off oh, in the start of Super Metroid. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, baby Metroid. Let's conquer the fucking galaxy. Eats it. Eats the crystals. Yes. Yes, little one. Grow stronger. Together we will destroy the Galactic Federation. Space jumps. Oh, over here. Aha!
Well, I mean, well, hmm. If you look at the improvements made off of the first game, um, well, uh, it's kind of hard to say, I suppose. You've got the spider ball, that was new, um, but it never really stuck around, so people must not have really liked it. And I wasn't crazy about it because it was just really kind of slow. <sighs> spring ball, that's kind of cool, I like spring ball. Um, you got the space jump, so you got the unlimited thing with the jumping. Once I got better at it, I do really like it. I think it's awesome, so I'm glad that made a, an introduction. Um, other than that, it's a very it's very similar to the first game, but it's just on Game Boy, so everything's sort of condensed. I think for a Game Boy game, it's pretty impressive, um, and I did have a lot of fun playing it, but. I knew that if I didn't use a map, it would have been miserable, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And I know even James and Mike, when they played, they used a full Nintendo Power map and all that stuff. So even they knew, like, this shit needs a map. Um, and even Nintendo knew, because Super Metroid came with a built-in full map. Um, so if you play this game... Use a map. Love it. Love the map. Um, and I think, you know, just playing through it with a map and just having fun shooting Metroids and stuff, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, because it, it's, like I said, it's very similar to the first game. So, you know, the core gameplay of the Metroid series is, is getting established here. And uh, it's it's good. It's good stuff. Um, you know, graphically, obviously, it's not too impressive. So I'm really looking forward now to playing through uh, AM2R to see how that plays and how that works and everything. I'm really interested to see it. But this one, yeah, I'm glad I played it. Definitely not too shabby. Um... We didn't get to see Samus without her armor on, so let me just look. Um, okay, so we got the second... We got the middle ending. The worst ending is five or more hours. So we were, we were right in the middle. We, we did all right. Although we used a map, so that's kind of unfair, but... Uh, the worst ending is her in her armor, and she continues to run towards the screen. Ours is the same thing, but she's motionless. So, not a big difference. You have to get under three hours, um, and she is on screen wearing a two-piece bikini or something. That's what this website says, although the image more looks like just underwear. Um, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So, under three hours, which, of course, would be possible uh, on, like, a second playthrough with a map. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, but next, of course, we've got a, the big daddy, the big head honcho of Metroid games, and that is Super Metroid, a game that uh, is near and dear to my heart. Big parts of my childhood were spent running around Super Metroid um, just to just one of the all-time classics that still very much holds up to this day um i haven't played it in i want to say five years at this point so i'm not super familiar with it i don't remember everything it's gonna be it should just be fun it's gonna be fun but um i know a lot of people have played it and seen it played so it's probably not as interesting to see me play through it perhaps but I will play through it nonetheless. But my name is Meng. The game you just finished watching is Metroid 2 Return of Samus on the Game Boy. And I'll see you fine folks in Super Metroid.